the add-on preferences allow you to adjust a few things, most importantly the tool's key map, which is set to Shift E by default. The preferences also expose the extrude menu shortcut. Note that the industry default key map does not define such a shortcut. So, punch it can create it for you, as it can be convenient. Now, if you use the tool, you'll see a small HUD. And you can adjust the size of the displayed text to your liking. But understand that this is also affected by Blender's interface scale settings. So both will work in tandem. By default the tool won't draw a smooth line to indicate the extrusion depth. That's because in Blender 3 the previous way to do this has been depreciated. Right now in Blender 3.0, it is still working though, and so you can activate it to get a smoother line. If you require product support, use this button in the add-on preferences, or the one in the 3D view sidebar. Clicking either one will create a system info file as well as further instructions on how to report your problem via email. Your file browser should open automatically. Send me the system info via email, and before you're due, read the HTML file please. Finally, you can find various links at the bottom of the preferences. The Punch It website, my main site, the Blender Artists thread, my new Patreon, where people got early access to Punch It, as well as social media. And last, but not least, at the very bottom are links to my three other add-ons.